This is a 31 foot 2003 Holiday Rambler Atlantis for $26,495 Class C motorhome. Here is the overhead bed area. Oh, it has ducted air. That's nice. Usually smaller Class C's don't. This is some small buffer. Okay, look under there. That looks good. Feels good around that window. If I were buying, I'd crawl up and check around that window, but I'm just looking today. And looks good there. And feels good around that window. Always kind of poke around the windows because um, if you feel a soft spot, you know that window's leaking. And um, a vent above the bed, which I kind of like. Okay. And of course, this, if you wanted to, picks up and you can put it on the top of the back part if you, for driving and such, if you want to do that. Okay, um, isn't that lovely when people leave garbage in them? So, okay, the bed, it's like, it has a lever underneath, there's a little bit of storage. And of course, it's a, it's a um, jackknife bed. Storage under the dinette. Nice big drawer storage. I like that. And both are like that. More curtains. I guess what those curtains are for. Okay, and it has a slide. And the kitchen. Oh, no oven. It doesn't have an oven. And somebody has replaced the microwave at one point and didn't save the vent thing that goes around it. So, but yeah, no oven. Lots of door space. Too bad it doesn't have an oven. And cabinets up here, cabinets over there, TV over there. And a uh, little corner chair there. Okay, and the Norcold refrigerator. Freezer. Looks like they have an ice maker in this freezer, so you don't. The freezers are already small enough, so you wouldn't have a whole lot of space to freeze food up in here. Okay, ducted air. Boom, boom, boom. A vent in the middle. Speaker system in the ceiling. Kind of a vinyl covered ceiling. Okay, bathroom. Here's the shower, tub shower combo. And I wonder if that sky like leaks. And the bedroom. No big closet space in this RV. Let me see the bed. Find the frame underneath it. Okay, the bed lifts up, and that's how much storage you get under it. Somebody just slammed the door on me. I hope they don't want it. <laughs> okay, here's the thing I always look for is, huh, 
The cargo carrying capacity for this motorhome is only 400 pounds. So that doesn't allow much weight. It's always good to open the closet door or wherever they put these stickers and take a look at them too, depending on what you need your motorhome for. I have I wanted to put my pets in the back bedroom, take the bed out, but uh, they would exceed the cargo carrying capacity for this motorhome with them and my clothes and such. So it's not a very high capacity. Let's look at the bathroom. I like the um, closet in the bathroom. Store towels and personals. Okie dokie. Let's go outside and look. Whew. Nice of them to close the door on me. It's hot. Has electric steps. Okay, here's one storage area. And that one's locked. Onan Micro Quiet 4000. Generator. I'm not sure what that is. That might be the dump. No, dumps would be on the other side. Another little storage area. Those are mini winnies. Four fifty V ten engine, which is always good. Take a look up around the cab area. It looks pretty good actually. Oh, we're missing a clearance light. Which if I bought when I buy another RV, I'm going to reseal all the clearance lights. And the uh, sofa and dinette are on a slide. Mm, I can't believe they only have 400 pounds ECC. Oh, that's the propane with all this extra storage. bring my keys with me, I swear. Locked, all the storage bays are locked so you can't really take a look. And the uh, living room is on a slide, a small slide. Well, the dinette and sofa slide out, so that's still good. The back of it looks decent. I bet this one's locked too. Oh, no. Okay. Place for your hubcaps. Okie dokie, so this is the tour of the Atlantis Holiday Rambler.